Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of The Walking Dead. This is part two. So if you remember, in part one, ended just when the zombie was attacked with a hammer. So let's begin. So currently I'm looking for help. Hello, people. Oh, man, I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Like the shade on his beard right there, and his arm hair. <laughs> Zombie walk. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! Oh, We're no, not no. gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Yeah, she definitely looks like a zombie, doesn't she? What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. It's I'm a trap. Dad. Um. Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. Some guy. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Let's go. Some punch guy. I stop keeping my feet in For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. Very much out of control. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. See ya. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Hello. Yeah, let's give him some more deserved praise. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. It's just He's, some guy. Well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Kind of sounds a bit okay, odd, doesn't then. it? 
Well, some guy with a like little you girl. Hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's Could be what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? Lee Evans. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. He knows my name. Oh my god. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Nice old notes down and remembers everything that you've done. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. Ooh, I lied. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. <laughs> Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Language? There's an eight-year-old right there. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Now well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. Uh -oh. What do we do then? Chop it off. We'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Aww. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Making some bacon. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Plop. Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you too. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, he's dreaming about zombies. Hey, get up. <sighs> what an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not a Some dad. guy. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Quack. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. 
Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable trait lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My well, family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. <laughs> I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Quack. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. All right, let's build a fence. Dun, 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 dun. Hello. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Sounds good. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ, just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before talk. we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too mm, bad, so gonna try and hope hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See you. I'm on a boat. Hello. Seems like those two are getting along. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think Dang. we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh... What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't not stay you, like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families of barbecues and beers. Sounds like a good Sunday. 
all of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? Back See in you. The okay, Lee. Let's move. Let's go find this tractor. Hello. Hello. Don't wave again. Speak to the young boy. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. Oh, God save us all. I'm the foreman. Lift me your back, <laughs> Sean. Yes, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Sean's still working on that fence. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot oh, him right in the face. Shot. Damn. Damn. Oh shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Good on you. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help. Alright, we've got a task, don't we? Don't do that, do walk. Let's do that. Hello, Dad. Alright, that's the end of part two. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and comment below if you got anything to leave us. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.